Hello. So I just wanted to do a quick video um, because I've got something to celebrate. And um, here we are, April the 5th, 2019. Tomorrow being the first of Nissan and perhaps the true end of the year 5778. And I was all anticipating that there would be something at the end of 5778 because 5778 is one of these special numbers if you take 1.618003998 which is a pretty close approximation to the golden ratio number and you multiply 1 by 1.618 da 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 and then the answer you multiply by 1.618 da 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 5778 is one of the numbers that you get to so there was always something about this and that year was supposed to end back in September and not much was happening so I kind of moved on but recently a guy called Steve Fletcher 222 he was he's been finding things about First of all, you know, when the the year should begin in spring, not autumn. But he's been finding lots of other things. So that sort of, you know, ooh, you know, woke me up to it again that, you know, something may be happening. <coughs> March 22nd was the first sort of watch date. But now it's April the 6th tomorrow. Um, for me, in the last couple of weeks, I've, well, less than that actually, probably a week, just um, got back into a theology forum. I'd, a couple of years ago, I'd gone into this theology thought forum called Toll, and I got kicked out, you know, for saying stuff like, God is also a mother, but also what came out was my beliefs about myself at that time being the Christ. And, and that's kind of resurged a bit, but it's just, it's not a huge deal for me personally. It makes not a huge difference to what I do. Um, but kind of it rekindles that a bit too, because when, when I'm talking with people about stuff to do with God and the Bible and you know it reminds me that you know here I am pretty much with my own beliefs on my own and um, but they I can defend them they do stack up and so it kind of makes me think well how come you know am I the only one then who truly understands it and uh, you know the more I look the more the answer comes back yes anyway um, so so that discussing God and stuff online really really helped with the feeling so I'd be talking about it you know and then come off and have a bit of a meditate and it was really helping, to, you know, to connect with other people who were believers, and and yeah, so it was a real sort of good little help, definitely. And I, you know, with God's plan and everything, and the way God often leaves it to the last minute, and you know, I didn't particularly feel like I had. Um, much more to do but last night I was chatting on the forum with someone and they said something about oh you know can we straighten the path and you know clear it and stuff and I was like the path no you can't straighten the path everybody has their individual path what would you want it straight for you know that's sort of boring and then he said oh he meant like straighten ourselves out. I was like, yeah, sure, yeah, you know that needs to be done. 
And I was sitting there thinking about it, and I was thinking about what I might say or whatever, and I was remembering to back a few weeks ago or a month or two ago when I made a video on my old YouTube channel, Faithful Philosopher, saying I heard God. And I, I admitted in the video, you know, it got too scary for me. I had to sort of, I had to, to, to leave it. So that came back to me and I was thinking, well, obviously then, you know, I I haven't finished yet at all. You know, not that there is ever a final destination, you know, there'll always be another one, but <clears throat> see finished stages and things. So, and I started to get that feeling again, like Father God was there and very strong. Obviously, I feel Father God a lot, but very strong. And it reminded me of where I was when I got a bit scared. And it was the feeling that Father God wanted to take me away. And, and then Mother God, it felt like Mother God kind of got protective. And it was this feeling like, you know, like, I can't trust Father God. Mother God's, like, protecting me. So can I trust Father God? What's going on here? And I reminded myself just to feel a feeling and, and realised because there was fear there that I still had an error. And... I, it was bringing me back to, I knew there was something left in my very young childhood because I'd had a glimpse of it at the very beginning of this journey quite a few years back. And so that sort of stayed with me. I always knew there'd be something more to do there. So I realised that it's quite possible that as a baby, you know, whether it was playing around or something, but my own physical mother might have got quite protective over me and and that in a sense created this fear of of the father and and ever since then ever since being a baby you know that that fear has 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 held on held into my heart sort of thing you know that was perhaps one of the first things so i was able then to just to just understanding that there's a possibly and most likely an error there, right? Because God isn't going to be horrible. So, you know, most likely there's an error there. And then that I felt feelings in my heart and I felt it lift. And, um, yeah, and then it wasn't scary anymore and it wasn't, you know, Father God wasn't going to take me away if he like. And uh, if he was, I'd happily go with him. So, it was, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was a huge sort of thing, It was, but it was very deep. So it was very close to my core, if you like. Uh, and it was very much like a splinter. You know, it, it felt almost like it was a, a splinter and got removed and so I'm feeling good about that um, obviously you know, I don't want to sit here boasting about it now the other thing I want to say about is um, what might be in the title of this video is about the garden Garden of Eden now a um, couple of months back I was meditating and I had this really deep feeling. Now, I've said before about colours, how... Um, so you can have thoughts, you can have images, you can have visions. Then you've got feelings. And then the, another stage is that the, the feelings, if you like, become more real. Uh, you can sense all around you and and the feeling may have a colour. Now, what I got for the first time was 
not only a colour, but actually a scene. So, got the feelings and everything, all surrounded my whole perception. So, you know, a very, very deep place, very rarely get this deep. And it wasn't just a colour, there was a scene. And the scene was like green marble floor and then some steps going up to an entrance. And either side of the steps were two golden lions. So we've only really got two colours, the marble green, a deep marble green and the and the two golden lions sort of sitting as they often you often see right so that was a couple of months ago or something and I attributed I wasn't sure is that like is that the world of my soulmate or something and I'm still not a hundred percent sure because it it lasted like just a few seconds so then last night, after this long-held splinter was removed, I got another glimpse of this similar level of deepness. But this time, I was within the... within the... I'll, I'm going to call it garden. I was in the garden. Now, I wasn't... I was sort of slightly above it and there was just grass right but there were golden lions in there and you know they weren't they were all pleasant and nice I think there were about four but there may have been others around again just for a few seconds um, so it was so it's then that made me then start to think well hang on is this is this not about my soulmate? Is this more about the Garden of Eden? And have I, by straightening out all these errors that I've been carrying my all my life, am I back in the garden? So is it like we're all when we're all born, we're all in the garden, and then fitting, you know, dealing with the stuff around us in this world and you know, that, that brings us out of the garden. Everybody kind of gets brought out of the garden. I can't really help it. So, yeah. Back in the garden. Got, got my errors removed about feelings towards Father God and, and um, Perhaps you know there's more, but you know as far as I'm aware at the moment, I'm I'm cool with Mother God and I'm cool with Father God. <clears throat> and uh, we're just a day before this day, Nissan one. So yeah, I said it was going to be a quick video. Let's uh, let's see what what goes on.